Welcome to Zoological World today we will discuss about blobfish. Having been accidentally caught during a research voyage off the coast of New Zealand in 2003, the blobfish, or specifically, smoothhead blobfish, is a very recent discovery. Although scientists classified the species in 1926, the general public had never heard of the creature, only gaining popularity and attention after its capture due to its odd looks. Little is known about this fish because of its small numbers and its remote habitat. Since 2013, the blobfish has had the distinction of officially being the world's ugliest creature, according to an online poll conducted by the British-based Ugly Animal Preservation Society. Fascinating blobfish facts Blobfish don't have swim bladders, the air-filled sacs that keep many different species of fish buoyant, because those sacs would collapse under the water pressure at the depths where blobfish live. They are not very active, moving primarily to open their mouths when a source of food comes near them. Blobfish don't have a skeleton, only a partial backbone. Their muscles are minimal too, which helps them survive in the crushing pressure of the deep underwater habitats where they are found. Their gelatinous flesh, which is slightly less dense than seawater, helps them remain buoyant and prevents them from vomiting the contents of their stomachs. The smoothhead blobfish takes on a much different shape when it is in its natural environment than when it is removed. Out of the water or in shallow water, it takes on a much uglier appearance. Blobfish appearance and behavior when in shallow water or water above sea level, blobfish take on an ugly, almost frightening appearance that resembles a gelatinous older man whose face has begun to melt. However, the blobfish doesn't look that way in its natural habitat. It looks pretty much like a regular fish. The extreme pressure of the ocean depths, which can be up to 120 times higher than it is at the surface, holds the blobfish together. Blobfish look the way they do when they come to the surface because their anatomy has essentially adapted to their deep sea habitat. They have little to no skeleton as well as little muscle, which explains their gelatinous look when they come to the surface. When blobfish are hauled to the surface, they encounter a rapid pressure drop, which causes their anatomy to turn into a gooey mess. Blobfish are generally whitish or light gray. Their size varies across the Cycrolutidae family with smooth head blobfish growing to 12 inches, while blobfish sculpins can grow up to 28 inches. In their natural habitat, sculpin have broad, flat heads, large, widely separated eyes and a curved mouth with fleshy lips. The body tapers rapidly behind the head. The dorsal fin of this fish has 8 spines and about 20 sot rays, while the anal fin has no spines and 12 to 14 soft rays. The pectoral fins are large and become fleshy in larger specimens. Minimal skeletons and flesh filled with water are characteristic of deep sea fish as it enables them to live in their harsh environment. This anatomical makeup also serves them well as they don't have to expend much energy to move along the ocean floor looking for food. Blobfish lead lethargic lives, moving only when necessary. As their skin is slightly less dense than seawater, it also helps prevent them from vomiting the contents of their stomachs. Blobfish habitat Blobfish are well adapted to deep water and live near the bottom of the ocean. The smoothhead blobfish lives in depths of 2,000 to 4,000 feet near Tasmania, Australia, and New Zealand. A second blobhead species, Cycrolutes microporus, lives in abyssal waters between Australia and Tasmania. The Western Australian blobfish lives in the eastern Indian Ocean around Rowley Shoals off the northwestern coast of Australia. Another species, the blobfish sculpin, lives even deeper underwater at depths of up to 9,800 feet. This species primarily inhabits the Northeast Pacific Ocean, particularly the Gorda Escarpment off the coast of California, but it is also found in the waters off Japan.